Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to review for you this uh, plasma cutter from Parkside available uh, uh, at Lidl and uh, on the beginning I will not make any judgment because uh, uh, I don't have experience with such um, equipment so I will I like to be very honest with you about that so what I will talk what I will talk about it's uh, my user experience first uh, it's a first impression actually and uh, because for me such kind of equipment is on the edge of DIY and and pros actually I have a uh, mixed feelings uh, if lead should uh, offer it in such shop uh, like it is so what you are paying for uh, main uh, details you will have uh, on the on the top but uh, I will just uh, quickly review them cutting current is from 15 amps up to 40 amps cutting cutting performance uh, copper 1 up to 4 millimeters stainless steel from 1 up to 8 millimeters aluminium from 1 up to 8 millimeters as well iron from 1 up to 10 millimeters and sheet steel uh, from 1 up to 12 millimeters working pressure 4 up to 4 and half bars uh, current uh, 230 volts so I didn't uh, find any information is it suitable as well for the for instance for the United States uh, current uh, supply I mean 100, uh, 110 if I'm not mi mistaken uh, accessories included and uh, it's as well a, let's say a fun part because you've got a bunch of them uh, you've got three burner covers one uh, preassembled and three electrodes one uh, preassembled one rolled guide compressed air hose with a um, uh, quick connect uh, connect system uh, instruction as well as a two meter cable okay this is not an accessory but uh, uh, now let me say something about the quality because I do believe as I mentioned it's uh, barely for DIY usage I mean it's uh, it, it should be treated more like a uh, like for pros so therefore I'm looking it on it as for the as uh, for for pros so even the stickers I mean the quality everything is is fine I have just I mean two things to, to add first of all this cable in my, in my opinion the connection is slightly um, not well designed and made which could be a little bit better but maybe I'm let's say uh, too, too rough and second like in the welders I would expect or uh, to, to have a better connection because as you can see the connection is quite nicely done but I could expect even some kind of belt just to connect two sides of course there is a connection in between because you have this uh, uh, because it's everything is done out of metal but I do believe if they could provide a special belt to connect upper part with a uh, uh, bottom part it would be better and beside that everything looks solid and it feels solid because uh, I when I open it the the box I I, I, I just uh, noticed that the, the smell of those parts are not cheap uh, if you have bought it uh, in your life some kind of cheap uh, drill for instance you could feel from the very beginning that you are facing the cheap material product here it's not the case uh, only thing that I could complain that it's it's not leveled I mean this part but on the, for the sticker price around 150 euros 
uh, I mean it's acceptable so I think it's an experiment from Lidl they will check uh, it's actually B2 version so there was some similar parts similar tools before so that shows there is a demand on the market and by the way even this part everything looks and feels very nice I mean as I, as I mentioned on the beginning I never use such equipment so it's a rather a, a first impression but uh, uh, if you take into consideration that it has a three years warranty you have a, a lot of time to test it and if it broke or if you are not happy with it just raise a claim I mean three, three years warranty it's not a standard in something uh, beyond so why not to use it so share with me your comments because I would like to learn something about this product uh, share with me your comments your experience because I'm super curious about that and as always thank you for watching stay tuned and see you next time. Bye.